Hey everybody, I'm TJ Hit Tallboy here, and I'm here to bring you some, um, well, don't mind that, me running into Greystone, but I'm here to bring, uh, just like a simple update on my hype level for Borderlands 2, and by showing my hype level, I'm doing a celebratory play Borderlands before the sequel comes out. Basically what you should do with every game that has a sequel. You should play the sequel, enjoy the prequel, play the sequel when it comes out, and then play the prequel again whenever you get bored of the sequel, just so you can reminisce. Um, I am especially excited for this game because um, Borderlands 2 is very special to me. The reason being is because I met all of my friends that I would know on Xbox on here. Anyone that I know in real life, I know in real life. I don't play with people I know in real life because I can talk to them in real life. But the people that I do know, like mostly are like the original people that I know the first people like Jordan or you don't know but like oh you do know TGK Toxic Haze or he's now originally known as uh, TGK Rainbow Dash Brony Power Die um but yeah um he was one of the first people I met him and another friend of mine too logical without them I, I wouldn't be probably here where I am standing right now we went through game battles. We went through pretty much everything. We went through GB game battles. If you don't know, um, basically, I am very proud to say that I'm part of TGK, and I'm very proud to say I'm a player of Borderlands. Um, but back to updating my hypeness level of Borderlands 2. I remember there being a rumor after a while of me playing uh, Borderlands 1. I was like, ah, no, nah, it's not coming out. I mean, what could they expand on? They've done everything. And then after like four freaking things, they decided to make another story. Which, if I'm correct, yeah, there's a people from the original game, but I mean, really the stories aren't really tied in together much. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad they're making a sequel. I'm very excited for it. I am anticipating it deeply, but I mean, hmm, I'm very hyped. I mean, it sounds unhyped. I am very hyped. Um, let's see. Um, back to what I was saying, though. Borderlands 2 um, should be coming out this month. I don't know when you're watching this, but if you're watching this now, yes. Um, I'm very excited for it. I know it looks great. I've seen live streams um, of PAX doing it. I've I've seen the first gameplay footage of it like when it first went live at last year and I was very excited for that I was like oh my god I can't believe they're actually making this and I'm really excited to get it I mean I mean it's Borderlands I mean it's a fun co-op game it's been a fun co-op game ever since it came out the add-ons have always been great and I hope they make really good out um, add-ons better than the Earth Fire I swear if I pay 400 bucks to make a house in this game I'm gonna kill someone Cliff of Blint, uh, not Cliff, um, I forget your name, so you live until I find out your name, then you die. Either way, if I had to build a house, or pay money to build a house, and then there's an awesome storyline that's very minor due to the fact that there's a house building thing, I'm gonna kill someone. But, enough about my anger towards Skyrim right now, um, but yeah, the game I cannot wait for. As you can see, I'm doing a little modded thing on here, but, um, Again, beat the game. The game's old. You can hack it now. Nobody cares. I mean, game moderators might, but eh. But I mean, you won't. You can expect me playing Borderlands 2 unmodded. Um, day it comes out, day or two after it comes out, um, you'll be seeing um, definitely videos of it, walkthroughs with my friend Pack, and the um, check his channel out. I don't know if I'm gonna put it like, but just check it out. Bam. Um want to say thank you to him for encouraging me to actually get in the game because I was a doubt I was like it's same old same old but then again now I think back on it I'm just running in circles I don't know why but um same old same old that's what I thought it was but then I realized this is the game that got me hooked on Xbox this is the game that got me where I was now this is the game that inspired me to make these friends on here and make these videos like I don't know how the game inspired me per se but like 
without my friends with me on it, I wouldn't be making videos. I wouldn't be inspired to have a capture card, any of that stuff. I would. I really wouldn't be here where I am now. And yeah, I want to say thank you to the creators of Warland, actually. Um, for making such an awesome game and to them I really do thank because without them I wouldn't have my friends um, this game is the funnest though good or great co-op even alone you gotta enjoy it it's just whenever the, you can tell when you're gonna want to have friends around you can tell when you're gonna want somebody around you to help Even if you were to suck at the game, you would still want to play. Um, I mean, by all means, I love the game more than anything. Um, I'm probably not going to do a Borderlands walkthrough because um, really all my friends that I know that played it have traded in a GameStop or just not played it at all, deleted it, whatever it may have been. Um, but I don't mind that because again it's old. Same thing's gonna happen for two. It's just sentimental value to me. I had to buy it um, on here just so I can show this gameplay, express how hyped I am for this game. I am very hyped for this game. The characters are amazing. The art looks amazing. Um, I remember in a podcast they were describing how the difference between the art and the graphics look in this, and they were right. This game just brown, light shades of brown darker brown this in the next game they have purple blue basically a whole crayon box in the words of I don't know who mentioned it but it was in the podcast um and that game was and the game just looked amazing I watched the live cast um there was a about two person co-op playing it and I was like wow this is amazing I can't wait to play this with my friends um, I know two people that are getting this game. Um, me, me, um, Pacna, and my friend Harrison. So expect him to be in some of the videos. Um, definitely expect Pacna because he's going to be doing the videos with me. Expect him to be doing the videos. Um, but yeah, all in all, I really can't wait for the game. I'm very excited for it. Um, more than anything, it's probably my most hyped and anticipated game um, of the year so far. Um, mainly because it's so close, that's why um, it's my most anticipated. Um, I would have to say my most most anticipated would have to be Halo 4, due to the multiplayer and just the insane gameplay. But I'll do that video when it gets around close to making playing the game, because I'll definitely be doing a walkthrough for that too. Uh, just letting you know some future projects. Um. But yeah, I mean, trust me, I would love to play those. I definitely want to play this. Um, yeah. Um, let's just be known. This might be like a new thing I'd be doing. Um, I'd be doing. I mean, I will be doing. Um, where I basically just express how hyped I am, why it's sentimental to me, um, why I love the game and all its flaws, faults, greatness, and shame. I mean, Borderlands is amazing they got during e3 of this year 2012 um, they got actually they got the Guinness Book of World Records for most games and they actually counted every gun every possible gun and I find it funny that they're just gonna have to count all over again because there's new ones new entirely new ones I've seen guns for the new game come out and I'm like, wow, they're going to have to count again. They already got the award. It's for sure. It's just they got to prove it. They got to have the numbers because they're going to put it on the certificate or plaque or whatever it's going to be of how many um, guns are in the game. They probably won't even count them all. This, they'll just get a good amount that can um, break the record of the other game and then just say, hey, you need this and more. But I don't know. Can't wait to play it. Because I know everybody's excited for that game. If you don't love the game, I don't know what's wrong with you. I recommend it. I recommend it highly. I don't know why you wouldn't get the game. Maybe you just have no friends. And you can't face play this such awesome co-op game alone. 
but if you do love the game, good on you. If you watch this and you want to be part of the walkthrough sometime in the future and you know you're getting it um, while I'm making the walkthrough, by all means, come join me. Message me, talk to me, somehow communicate with me. And say, hey, I want to join you packing in the plane. This most awesome game that brings friends together. I know I'm probably getting all heartfelt on a game that's like, it's just a game, but I mean, really, I love the game to death. Borderlands 2 is um, going to be an amazing thing. It's unlike COD, it's unlike all those games, mainly because the fact that COD, their are things, they stay the same. Borderlands, yeah, it's four people, Vault Hunters, but there's a story, there's, there's something in there. COD and any really other army gun shooter game they basically stay around the same concept unless it's Halo where you can build a story on that COD Medal of Honor Battlefield they all base around the same thing where it's just guns Afghan um, Iraq war all that stuff I get shooters are based off of war you just want to throw the same war in my face make up your own war think of some cybernetic robot war who cares if someone calls you a copy or tell them to make a game themselves and make it original instead of just writing their little fan fictions on whatever anime they love or whatever it is um I mean this game this game had story I mean yeah maybe I'm, I'm I'll admit I didn't pay attention to much of the story but I got the gist of it in the end I understood it I was ready for it I knew what there was in the whole thing and I was happy to say that I understood the game I was happy to say that this game I understood I got I was happy that it was here um I mean hope you enjoy my gameplay right now um I mean throughout the whole series I know I'm not gonna go into a retrospective but I do remember reading Game Informer years ago, year, 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 years, really long time ago. When I was first getting into gaming, all that, I remember, I mean, I was, I've was i been a gamer all my life, but when I really started to get into it, into it, like, really bad, um, I remember Game Informer releasing their book, or their issue, and the front cover was Borderlands. I didn't pay attention to it, I really didn't, like, you know, focus on that game. And frankly, I didn't recognize it until like maybe after I beat the game and all people were talking about it and all this stuff. And I realized, wait a second, didn't I didn't I see this like um, game informer talk about this in their magazine? So I dug up the issue, I saw it, and I realized how much they changed in the whole thing, comparing then to now. And I won't show a picture. You just gotta look it up yourself because I'm not doing all that editing for you guys. But looking at it then from now, and you'll see that, like, all, like, it changed greatly. Like, um, take a soldier. I believe they sort of, maybe, I can't remember the look of him, but they might have took a little bit of the soldier, originally designed, who was white, into the new game. I think they took him in. Um... That's just what I believe. I'm not sure on that. Um, I would have to look at it again. Um, there's been a lot of different looks into these guys. Um, so I mean, all in all, I'm glad. And I'm glad they're definitely bringing back the original cast of Borderlands. I'm not talking about voice actors. I'm talking about the characters. Mordecai, Roland, What's-Her-Face, and Brick. All those guys, yeah, I mean, if you play, you remember them. You know their names. You say, oh, dude, I'm playing as Mordecai. You don't say you're playing as Hunter. You're playing as Mordecai. You're playing as Brick. You're playing as Roland. And I'm glad they're bringing these characters back into the game. Even if you can't play as them, it's nice to see them again. And you're finally going to hear them voice roll more than, I need ammo. Oh, you got me. Somebody help me. All this stuff. So, I mean... It's nice to see that now and forever that the Borderlands thing will continue.
And I hope there will be another game after this one. I know I'm pushing the envelope. I know it probably won't happen. I'm not sure. Nobody knows. I mean, unless you're unless they've been talking about it behind closed doors, I don't know. But until that day, until Borderlands 2 comes out, until the ending is found out, until someone finds a secret ending or something revealing it, you never know. There can always be hope, you can always dream, someone can make game just like it. Just because they love Borderlands 2 games. Because they love Borderlands 1. If you loved the first one, you're definitely going to love this one. If you love co-op in any way whatsoever, you're going to love the Borderlands series. If you played anything from Gearbox, you'll love this series. If you played Portals 2 on co-op, you will love this series. Because both those games, both this game and that, both Gearbox and everything known to man, has had something that you love and anybody that says they hate Gearbox does not love gaming because they are a great company and this is just one of their trophies this is a platinum trophy and I hate to quote PS3 because I hate that console more than anything but yeah that is a platinum trophy if that's actually how trophies are ranked then yeah I'm glad to say that's a platinum trophy Borderlands, Borderlands 2 is already I assure you game of the year under Halo 4 and Black Ops 2. <laughs> Under those, I know ga Game of the Year is right there, right there for them. Because frankly, those three games are my most hyped games, I can say. You'll probably only see me make three videos this year explaining my hypeness for Borderlands 2, Halo 4, and Black Ops 2. You'll see me play all of them, I guarantee it. Do not be naive. You will see me play those. I will not be lazy when it comes to these three games. And no matter what, you'll like, you'll enjoy it. I'll do my best to make these the best videos ever, especially Borderlands 2, because I didn't record it. I don't plan on recording anything other than this for Borderlands. But Borderlands 2, you'll expect a full walkthrough. If I find a glitch, you'll know about it. I'm not saying I'm gonna go hunting for them. I'm just saying if I find one, I'm gonna hit the record button right as soon as it happens. If I find it, fix it, I will mess it up again just to see, show you guys, or I'll talk about it, or I'll show you a picture, I'll show you someone else doing it while I talk about it, something. I guarantee you that I'll do my best to enjoy, or uh, make them, make the, these videos your best. I'm not trying to get out of money, I'm just trying to show you a game that I loved and is all, will always be part of some, like my gaming childhood. A gaming career basically um but yeah if you like this video like subscribe comment I'm TJK Tallboy and this game my hype level is 10 out of 10 people no 11 out of 10 and I'm TJK Tallboy and I will see you next time